Hello, welcome to another video of What Would Adam Do? And my video today will be to show you how to cut a door down that is binding on the floor. My closet door in my daughter's bedroom is binding on the floor and sometimes floors move. So I'm gonna cut these doors down and so they don't bind. So in order to do this, you have to remove the door. And to remove the door, you've got to remove these little pegs. I, I like to just call them, I don't know, placement pegs, so they don't uh, maneuver back and forth when you're sliding the door open and shut. So first we have to remove these. And you can see that it's a flathead screw driver that would take to unscrew this peg. So I removed the back one first. I removed the back one first so I could uh, push the door back and get to the second peg, and then finally the last peg. Now all pegs are removed, and I'm going to take the doors off of the, uh, the sliding rods and uh, take them outside to put them on workhorses. And the way to remove these doors off the top roller is you have to take them and push pull them towards you like into the room and then lift up and take the rollers off of the tracks. Whew, it's hot today. Anyway, I'm outside and I have my door on workhorse. And these are the tools you'll need. You need some clamps, you'll need a straight edge and extension cord, a circular saw and a couple of pencils. I like to keep the carpenter pencil around and the regular pencil around. What's the use for a carpenter pencil, you may ask man. And the carpenter pencil is, is, I don't need it right now, but if you're working on a pitch, it doesn't roll down. That's why it's shaped like this. And earplugs are important too. You got to have those. That's how I saved my hearing from all those shows when I was younger. Grog Shop, Euclid Tavern, and so on. So I made my mark. <clears throat> I only want to take a quarter of an inch off of the bottom. So you see where this zero mark is right here on the circular saw? That's where your line, your cut line is going to be. So you want to measure another line from your quarter inch line. You want to add five inches to that to right here. So I got everything set up. I got some clamps on my guide. And uh, I'm not going to try to attempt to hold the phone and work this circular saw at the same time. So uh, just hold on and you'll see what happens. And since uh, I have the doors on the workhorse, I decided to sand them down. Because previously, the last time I painted them was in 2003. So I'm going to paint them with a hybrid acrylic alkyd. Uh, next time, which is going to probably be today. So I took my oral bottle sander and sanded it down. Just scuffed it up some. Okay, we're back. So I painted the doors, installed them into the upper tracks up here, and put a new peg, or two new pegs, to keep the doors from going uh, forward or backwards to keep them aligned. There's one in the back. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. Painted them, cut them, installed them, and now they slide down really easy. There you have it. So that's what you want to do to cut doors down and so they're not binding on the floor. If you like this, then uh, click like and subscribe. And I'm glad that you do. And uh, welcome to another little video of what would Adam do. Have a good day.